show chapters how to use charts to detect the phony stock rally 6. 39 p.m. ET wed. The 22nd of November 2017, 01. 11 CNBC's Jim Cramer may not be a chartist but he understands why charts are so important for predicting the market's major moves. You must consider them as if they are footprints at a scene of a crime. The Mad Money host said, These footprints trace out what big money managers might be doing with their buying and selling of stocks. Kramer cares about charts because there's a remarkable, self-fulfilling nature of charting stocks. Some of the best investment ideas can come from chart-inspired brainstorming sessions. He said, but for Kramer, the best way to produce results is by carefully analyzing both a stock's fundamentals and its technicals for more comprehensive results. A good technical analysis means being able to find the indicators that will help to determine the overall direction of the market especially since so many stocks are influenced by S&P 500 stock futures. Sometimes, technicians start by comparing the chart of an individual company to the chart of an average to determine the legitimacy of a move, a tactic known as confirmation. For instance, if the Dow Jones Industrial Average hits a new high, historically, it is not sustainable unless the Dow Jones Transportation Average also hits a high confirming the breakout status of the Dow itself. If both the industrials and the transports hit new highs, Kramer feels secure blessing the move is legitimate. Other indicators that Kramer watches are the banking index, the housing index, the semiconductor index and the ETF that encompasses large retailers. I like to see all of these indexes move up in sync before I truly bless a market move. The Mad Money host said, you get all of these indexes rolling higher, and you have to put the maximum amount of chips on the table. The inverse is also true. If there's a move up without confirmation from a majority of the indexes, then the whole rally could be fake and shouldn't be trusted. Kramer saw this occur right before the 2008 financial crisis, when there was no participation from the financials, retail or tech. The Mad Money host also considers stocks advances and declines, which indicate if a rally is too concentrated. He likes to see a market with good participation from many different groups. Additionally, Kramer looks at the new high to new low ratio. Since stocks that make the new high list are worth watching, it's not easy to get on the list. So any company hitting new highs must be doing exceptionally well. Be part of a strong sector and be privy to strong geopolitical forces pushing it higher. He said, you may not be a technician, but you need to know what the charts are saying and you need to know how to read the internals to verify a real move or a phony one. Kramer added, watch what Kramer looks for in stocks technical charts show chapters Kramer teaches investors how to use charts to detect a phony rally on Wall Street 6. 38 p.m. ET wed. The 22nd of November 2017, 10. 19 questions for Kramer. Call Kramer. 1-800-743-CNBC Wanna take a deep dive into Kramer's world? Hit him up Mad Money Twitter, Jim Kramer Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, buy in questions. Comments. Suggestions for the Mad Money website. Modcap at CNBC.com.